Hey, it's Jonathan from The Last Stitch. Have you ever tried to hem stretchy knits on a regular sewing machine only to end up with a wobbly, stretched out mess with skip stitches, broken stitches and I don't know what? Well, I have many times and that experience can actually just make you want to give up sewing stretchy knits all together on a sewing machine. But you know what? There are actually quite a few tricks and hacks that will vastly improve the result on a regular sewing machine. So that's what I'm going to talk about today where I share my top tips for hemming stretchy knits on a regular sewing machine. But before we get started I want to remind you that if you don't subscribe just please hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos from me and also check out my blog thelaststitch.com where I have tons of tutorials on how to sew stretchy knits. But now let's talk about how to hem stretchy knits on a regular sewing machine. Tip number one, use a ballpoint needle. If you experience skip stitches or your regular needle creates unsightly holes in the fabric, try switching to a ballpoint needle which is the best choice when you're sewing dense stretchy lycra knits. Tip number two, use a twin needle. The twin needle sews two rows of stretch stitches on the top and a zigzag stitch underneath. To perfect this stitch you will probably have to experiment with several different things such as the needle tension, the stitch length, the presser foot pressure if you have that on your machine and also in worst cases you might even try to adjust the bobbin tension. Tip number three. Stabilize the hem with water soluble wonder tape. The tape is sticky on both sides and will prevent the fabric from stretching out when stitched. Just apply the tape at the edge of the hem, press it so that it sticks to the fabric and then you just sew over it. Afterwards you just rinse away the tape in cold water. Tip number four. Stabilizing the hem using a thin fusible interfacing. You cut a strip along the side which has the crosswise stretch to accommodate the stretches of the fabric. To just press the fusible as you normally would, fold the hem and sew over it. Tip number five, use spray starch to stabilize the fabric. You spray a generous amount over the fabric and then let it dry. This will make the fabric quite stiff and keep it from stretching out. Afterwards, just rinse it away and the starch will disappear. Tip number six. Use a sharp object like an awl or a large needle to feed the upper layer of the fabric when you're sewing. Push the fabric towards the presser foot while sewing and this will mimic the different feed on the serger or a cover stitch machine. Tip number seven. If you get skip stitches despite having switched to a ballpoint needle, you can try sewing over paper and then tear it away. The best option is to use water soluble stabilizing paper that you can rinse away afterwards but you can also try sewing over tissue paper, sheet paper or something similar and then just tear it away afterwards. Tip number eight. For curved seam such as neckline use clear elastic. Make sure that the elastic has the same length as the pattern piece neckline then you attach the clear elastic on the wrong side of the fabric using a zigzag stitch. Fold over and then top stitch with a second row of zigzag stitches. This will keep the neckline or any type of curved seams from growing. So that was my top tips for how to hem stretching it with a regular sewing machine. Now let's be real, you won't achieve the same flawless smooth result as you would with a good cover stitch machine. That's just because the cover stitch machine is constructed to work with stretch and itch which a regular sewing machine isn't. However, just applying some or several of all the tips that I have gave you will vastly improve the result on the regular sewing machine. And if you are considering getting a cover stitch machine, I highly recommend that you check out my videos on cover stitching where I go through all the basics and to give you the answer if it's worth investing that much money in this type of machine. Now, thank you so much for watching and if you want to see more videos from me, please hit subscribe and also check out my blog thelaststitch.com where I have a loads of tutorials on how to sew with knits and I'll see you again next time. Bye bye!